Jason Berry. I'm a family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience, and I'd love to discuss with you today a very common thing that's overlooked in women over 50. So if you're a woman over 50, I think it's a very valid question that you should ask yourself, has your doctor missed this diagnosis? Thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of women, and this can happen in men too, but it's usually in a woman, can have this undiagnosed condition that can lead to very serious life-altering symptoms, and it's very often overlooked by your doctor. Now, let me tell you about these symptoms. Listen carefully. If you have more than three of these symptoms, then you should really go to your doctor and ask about this diagnosis and ask for the lab work, the special lab work that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video. Here are the symptoms. Are you ready? If you suffer from chronic fatigue that happens almost every day, if you have a depressed mood, either diagnosed with formal depression, or you're just down in the dumps all the time, if you have bone pain and you haven't bumped or bruised yourself, if you have muscle pain, your muscles every morning are very stiff and sore for no real reason, uh, if you have nausea or abdominal pain that seems to happen pretty chronically, if you have constipation that you can't really uh, figure out what's causing, if you have frequent urination, if you have mental fogginess for no real reason, if you have brittle bones, if you've fallen and broken a bone and you're like, I, I didn't really fall that far. I fell on carpet. I, I, it was not a big fall, but I still broke a wrist or broke an ankle for no real reason. If you have heart palpitations, if you can feel your heart skip beats for no real reason, uh, if you have ever had a kidney stone, that's a symptom, a sign of perhaps having this condition. Uh, if you have slow thinking or cognition, if you have a decreased reaction time and you can't figure out why you're so slow to react or your mental processes are so slow, if you have heartburn all the time for no real reason, or if you've been diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis and not really given a reason as to why. Now, that's a lot of symptoms, and that's a lot of symptoms that many, many women suffer from every day, and they just think that it's part of getting older, or they think it's all in their head, and it's quite often because their doctor has told them it's just a sign of getting older, or it's, just, it's all in your head, just ignore it. If you know anyone with symptoms like this, especially if they have three or more symptoms, please consider sharing this video with them through an email. You can just tell them about it. Uh, word of mouth, or you can share this on your social media, on your on your Facebook page, your Instagram, your Twitter, any of those social medias, because there are so many people who have this condition and then they never receive a diagnosis. And as I'm going to tell you later, that can lead to serious medical problems. Now, here's the thing. If you go to your doctor and you have routine labs checked, hopefully your doctor checks a calcium level at least once a year. Many times that calcium level will be one-tenth of a point elevated or two-tenths of a point elevated, and your doctor won't think that's a big deal. We'll think, well, it's only a tenth of a point. Hi, it's not a big deal. We'll just check it again next year. This is not a good practice. Uh, some people would consider this malpractice, but you can have this serious condition, which I'm about to tell you the name of, and the only thing that your doctor will see in the lab work is a slightly elevated calcium level. If you have a slightly elevated calcium level, then you need this extra lab work that I'm going to tell you about at the end of this video if you have any of the symptoms that I talked about at the beginning of this video. Uh, your doctor may not want to order these extra tests. It may tell you this is not a big deal. Don't worry about this. But if you have these symptoms, I want you to be persistent. I want you to be respectfully persistent to your doctor and demand in a nice way that these extra labs be checked on you because if you have this diagnosis, you absolutely need to know it. Now, the diagnosis that I'm talking about is hyperparathyroidism. This is much more common than it should be, and it is one of the most frequently missed diagnoses by primary care doctors and other healthcare providers. You, your only symptom can, you can have multiple symptoms that I talked about, but as I said earlier, you're frequently told this is all in your head or it's just a sign of being in your 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s. That's not the case. Usually this is a benign 
uh, condition that you have a parathyroid adenoma. And it can be confusing because the word thyroid is in the name. The parathyroid glands are completely different from your thyroid gland. They actually sit behind your thyroid. There are four of them. They're very small. But if one of them starts to act up and starts to become overactive, then you can develop hyperparathyroidism. And the symptoms that I mentioned earlier are very they're very subtle. It's like, yeah, I just don't feel good. And my belly hurts and my bones ache. Many doctors will say that's all in your head or not a big deal. Don't worry about that. Hyperparathyroidism can be caused from parathyroid cancer. Eight out of 10 times, it's not cancer. It's just a benign uh, tumor of one of your parathyroid glands. But the problem is, is what it can lead to if it's undiagnosed. First of all, you're going to be miserable from all the symptoms I talked about above, but it can also lead to an increased risk of breast cancer and an increased risk of colon cancer. It can lead to an increased risk of kidney cancer. It can lead to an increased risk of kidney stones that I talked about earlier. Uh, although this condition is uncommon in men, if a man has it, it can increase his risk of prostate cancer. So it's vital that you know if you have this diagnosis or not. Uh, it can lead to an increased risk of serious heart arrhythmias or, or uh, irregular heartbeats that can lead to serious heart complications. It can increase your risk of uh, developing many other medical conditions. And ultimately, and here's the very important thing, it can decrease your life expectancy by up to six years. So if you'd like to live a long time and feel great while you're living that long time, then you need to know if you have this diagnosis or not. And uh, here are the labs that you need to ask for. And so first of all, let me tell you this. You can ask for a copy of your old labs from your doctor. And if you're a, a man or a woman over the age of 40, your doctor should be checking your calcium level at least once a year. If they haven't done that, then you guys need to have a discussion. Uh, and perhaps find a new doctor or perhaps educate your doctor that you want your calcium level checked at least once a year for the rest of your life. If you get a copy of your old labs, which you are 100% entitled to, that is your property, uh, to get a photocopy of your labs, you have every right to that, so don't let your doctor tell you otherwise. And you see in the past that your calcium level either hasn't been checked or it's, it's even one-tenth of one point higher than the reference range, then you need the following lab work. So grab a pencil, grab a pen, or you can just watch this again if you, if you want to finish it before you grab your pencil. Here are the labs that you absolutely need to uh, gently and politely demand from your doctor if your calcium level has ever been one-tenth of a point high. You need an intact PTH, and that is the parathyroid hormone, an intact PTH. You need an ionized calcium level. You need a fractionated alkaline phosphatase level. You need a vitamin D25 level. Uh, and you also probably at some point in the workup, if any of those come back abnormal, then you need either an ultrasound or a CAT scan of your parathyroid glands. Uh, if any of these labs are abnormal or any of the scans are abnormal and your doctor really doesn't seem to know what it means, then I would ask for a referral to an endocrinologist, which is a hormone specialist. So that's what you need to do. And you're welcome to watch this video again if you need to copy down those labs or if you want to listen to those symptoms again, you can go back and listen to this a second time. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second and click that subscribe button. It helps me reach new people. If you'll click the bell button right beside the subscribe button, then every time I get a bright idea, you'll get a notification from YouTube. Uh, also, if my videos have helped you improve your health in some small way, then please click on the Patreon link. It's right down below. You can sign up very quickly and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. This is Dr. Berry. I'll see you next time.